Morning guys, welcome to Coffee Chat. Hmm. Well, I was gearing up to be a great day. Well guys, I read an article this morning that the UN is declaring war on all these conspiracy guys and what they're kind of coming out with saying, hey, the world isn't controlled secretly by all these global elites. No, 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 that's a conspiracy. Well, it's not a conspiracy because they're not doing it secretly. <laughs> they're doing it openly. I mean, come on, who are the, who do they think the global elites are? They are the global elites, the UN, the IMF, the WEF all these multi-billionaires and their clubs and all these kind of guys. And you can better believe that they are manipulating the world economies. They're manipulating the world social programs. They're manipulating the world politically. They are setting the agenda. They're, they're crafting the legislation. They're pushing out the narrative on and on and on. And they want to say, oh, well, the global elites aren't secretly. No, they're not doing it secretly. I'll give them credit for that. They're doing it openly right in front of our noses. That's what's really going on. Mm. I just read an article that Germany might even be having the army patrol the streets. And do you know what they're bringing the army on, guys, to pa patrol the streets on for, according to this article? They're bringing back mask mandates, and they're only doing it for the unvaccinated. And what they're saying is, oh, man, in order to enforce compliance, we need to have the military... And we're talking like guys walking around with their, you know, machine guns and their full military garb on and everything like that. Now, if that's not trying to intimidate and control and manipulate, in my mind, I truly don't know what is. But hey, I'd like to hear from you. Now, I know we have some guys that are over there, people, folks over there living in Germany. And I would like to hear what you think about all this. I mean, do you really think that they need to have the military patrolling the streets in order to force, you know, maybe, you know, some public mandates and stuff like that? That seems crazy to me. And when you hear from the UN, it's like they are just so out of touch in reality with with the average folks out there. And this is where this arrogance comes from, in my view, where they seem to think that they know best, what's best for us, how we're gonna best live, you know, that, like we were talking about in yesterday's video, this whole subscription-based stuff that it's better for us to not own anything, for them to own it. We just kind of lease it from all these multinational conglomerates and all this kind of stuff. And who do you think are the investors and the backers of those things? Well, of course, it's all the central banks. It's the IMF. It's all these people with all this big money. I mean, they have the luxury, guys. When they run short of cash, they just print it. That is the fact, Jack. They literally just print it and issue it. If the government needs six, seven hundred billion to facilitate an inflation reduction act, well, they just get the Federal Reserve to print the money. There you go. I mean, I wish we had something like that when times get tough for us. Wait, well, I'll just print it with absolutely zero consequence. And the people that really pay are not the elites, are not the super rich, super wealthy. They might, you know, their wealth might go down a little bit, but do you think their lifestyle changes? Not much at all. We're the ones that truly pay. So anyway, those are my thoughts on it. Hmm. But it just seems to get crazier and crazier. And I guess there's all this stuff, chatter going on there, that something big's going to happen on September 24th. Now, I'm not much of a date guy when it comes to things like that. But you know what? In this situation, I'm kind of feeling more and more that maybe some of these folks are right. I have no idea. But I sure hope that whatever is going to come down the pike, that we're ready for it, that we're prepared for it, that you've done what you need to do to kind of get your family ready and that type of thing. I know I've, you know, put some things aside to make sure things are going to be okay for us and that type of thing. But that's what I would just recommend. Well, guys, this is the Coffee Chat. And uh, look, we'll be back on later this afternoon with our regularly released video. And I truly appreciate each and every one of you. And so until then, take care.